Today I'm going to do a very quick demonstration showing the differences of measuring inrush currents between an oscilloscope and the PX8000 precision power scope. Just to explain the demonstration that I have then, we are looking at an LED light bulb. This is connected to a breakout box which we've connected to so that we can have a current clamp going through to the scope and also a differential probe which also goes through to the scope as well. The connections on the PX8000 around the side we have safety banana connectors here for voltage we also have safety banana female connectors for the current as well and these go around to the breakout box so we're measuring the same product measuring the same parameters at the same time just to show how we have the scope set up the scope itself is set with a trigger level on the current at half an amp and it is currently set to wait for a trigger to happen over that. The PX8000 is also set at half an amp and that too is also waiting for a trigger. So all that's left to do is to turn the light on and off and see what differences we get. Okay, so both scopes have caught the transient event, it's caught the inrush current. Just to explain the displays, both the top lines represent the voltage, the centre lines represent the current, the bottom line on the oscilloscope represents a multiplication of voltage and current, that's channel 1 and channel 2. On the PX8000 this is a true power measurement. When we look at the markers that I've placed on the screen, this is just to represent the current. The peak-to-peak -peak value on the oscilloscope is 0.89 amps, and the maximum is 0.35 amps. The PX8000, the peak-to-peak -peak is 1.818 amps, that's around double the peak to peak of the scope and also the maximum current caught on the PX8000 is 0.559 amps. Oscilloscopes are not specifically designed to measure power. The PX8000 is a transient power analyzer that, that carries a warranted spec and also proven capability. Thank you for watching.